Greetings retro friends, welcome to Platform 32, my name's Ian Higton and this is Retro Games on Retro Hardware, where I play old school games, not on emulators, ooh, dirty emulators, no, I play them on the actual living, breathing, old school uh, video game machines that I used to own, well, well that I still own now, um, and I'm playing currently uh, Technician Ted through my ZX Spectrum Plus 3, which is just below me. Welcome one and all to uh, a very special episode of Retro Games on Retro Hardware. This one is uh, is dedicated to the software house Hewson Consultants, who were, who were very kind. Andrew Hewson, who is still around, still making games, uh, he uh, was very kind and sent me a bundle of Hewson games through the post the other day. Uh, all ZX Spectrum ones, which I'm going to stream for you. I'm going to stream as many as I can for you today. But I thought I'd start off... This is my own uh, copy of Technician Ted. I thought I'd start off with Technician Ted because uh, it's quite it's got quite a nice little intro tune and I knew this one worked as well. So I've not tried any of these games out yet. So uh, because they're on tape, obviously, I'm going to have to load them. You will hear the loading. You will see the loading screen and stuff. But because it is a Spectrum, because it is old hardware, uh, there could be some crashes on the way. But uh, not Technician Ted, uh, who is an enthusiastic young computer hacker who bounces to work at the local mo microprocessor factory every day at 8.30am. Anxious to please, he knows he must complete his 27 daily tasks by clocking off time at 5.30pm or incur the wrath of the big boss. This was released in 1984 by uh, Houston Consultants. I was about six years old, no, five years old then. And uh, it's quite interesting that uh, Houston Consultants, it has their address in here. They were actually based at that time on the Milton Trading Estate in Milton Park in Abingdon, which was very close to where I grew up. If I'd have known there was a software house so close to me when I was growing up, I'd have been like begging for a job. I'd have, I'd, I'd have been, it would have blown my mind. But yeah, welcome to everyone joining me. Space Obcopter at Fruitbat, Simon Murphy, Thomas Green, 72J at 2003WX, Crystal Rose, Thomas Whitehead, Still Life, Spider's Bite, Shareface, Simon Murphy, Yogensha, Castaway, DC, um, Thomas Whitehead, Nerdazoid, AJ, Unholy Muppet, Chili Vodka. Loads of people got the comments on the screen today because got enough room. Uh, oh, Huey Games is here as well. Uh, Huey Games is uh, Houston Consultants. That'll be Andrew Houston, I believe. So, uh, yeah, we'll kick off with some Technician Ted to start with. I kind of wanted to show the loading screen as well, because the loading screen is one of the best loading screens for the ZX Spectrum. But I actually think I've played this on a retro um, stream before. I'm, I'm definitely 100% sure I've shown off the loading screen anyway. So bottom row is jump, left and right, easy peasy. Age years pause. Okay, here we go. Factory chase. So it's a little side scrolling platformer in the style of Jet Set Willy. I, pff, I'm already doing rubbish at the game. Oh my god. What's wrong with me? Maybe I need to use two hands. Here we go. Alright. Doink. Is it possible to get up there? I thought it was. There we go. Who? Oh, I've missed that now. Oh, God. He's got a very... Uh, not a great... <laughs> not great full damage. Oh, my God. I'm not doing too well with the controls. There we go. Right. It took me so long to set everything up. A little bit flustered. Here we go. Right, we're on to the second screen, the reception. I mean, I'm not sure what kind of computer factory this is based on, but they've got a dancing fire extinguisher and a pulsating one-ton weight floating around. So, uh, yeah, not too much health and safety there. Here's the boardroom. Actually not sure what I'm supposed to be collecting here. I need to, it's annoying that I have to keep looking this way to read my comments. Huey Games says, Screen 2. Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh man. I can't. I can't be crap at this game in front of Andrew Houston. Oh no, I can. Right, maybe I have to. I've never got very far with this game. Oh no. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. How do we go down? Is there a down? Oh no. <laughs> Pause it by accident. How am I supposed to jump over this fire extinguisher? Oh my god. Can I jump it here? Nope. Oh, you get killed by muddle as well. I really don't know where to go now. Do do do. <laughs> I'm doing terrible. You have to follow that hydrant, says Chili Vodka. Okay. I tell you what. Chubby Gristle's a lot bloody hell. Chubby Gristle's a lot easier than this. Can't even get I can't even get over this. Is there a down? I didn't I didn't even look to see if there was a down key. I thought it was just left and right. I'd like to climb down that ladder, please. All right, let's try going a different way. If I can, I don't think I can. Oh, okay. So let's go up here. Okay, that doesn't kill me. Excellent. Jump the... whatever the hell that is. Oh, God. Avoid the plant. And did I just... I just got killed by a coat hanger. Oh, this is so much harder than I remember it being last time I played it. Oh, no. Coat hangers are very sharp, says Huey Games. Oh, my God. He's got little brittle, brittle, little brittle legs as well. Ah, you fuck! Just gonna go the path, the path of least resistance. That's the photocopier. Okay, I'm in the boardroom now. Is this bucket gonna kill me? Oh, yep. Yeah. Does this do anything if I... Okay, yeah, so that did something. Do, 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 do. No! Oh, my word. How am I going to get through creepy face town? God, this is brutal. Shit! He picked a bad week to skip leg day, he certainly did. Crikey. Oh, I could have, like, I've, I've got to time the jump right over that. 
bloody unicycle. It's so fast that it... I, how you... Oh! I think I've got to jump at it while it's coming right for... It's coming right for me! Oh no, there's my boss kicking me into the bin. Oh no! Absolutely battered. Is there a down? No, it's just bottom row, left, right, bottom row. Oh, crikey. This is Technician Ted, and I'm not do Hey, Kane Hill, I'm not doing great at Technician Ted. <laughs> it's so fast. Oh. Oh, you son of a... This is back in the day when... You just had to hardcore patience games like this. Come on. I can't even... Do the simplest of... Jo Fuck! Ultra smooth graphics, it says. Fully joystick compatible, full event processor, over 40 screens, and there's uh, yeah, ultra smooth graphics and exact collision detection. Special. Oh, God, fuck. It's a pity I haven't got exact jumping skills. I want to try and jump up there. Is it possible? I don't know if it is. Oh, that hurt my legs again. Jump! Is there any possible way of getting past that fire extinguisher? One day I'll have to watch a walkthrough of this game on the YouTubes to see how it... See how... To see how it's done. Oh god, not like that. Oh no, boo -hoo. It's got the same mantling skills as PUBG. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's so hard. Do 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 <clears throat> Oh, you shit biscuit. I guess you got to be super precise. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Hello, part-time crazy. Uh, didn't Houston make iridium, iridium for the Spectrum? They did. I've got that to play in a bit, Simply Phil. Uh, Dominic Robinson coded the specky version, says Huey Games. Ah. Can you jump over it when you're at the edges before the brick ceiling? But then it's, it catches. It's too fast. This is a nightmare factory. No, you, oh, you stupid technician Ted. Get out of my way, flower. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Hug the Oh no, I'm gonna be murdered by a coat hanger. On a whatever the hell that is, a vectorscope or whatever it's called. That's what did where? Hunger Ah I was robbed. We're doing it. No, we're not doing it. Oh. Hung up. Oh. Hung. Yes. Okay. A bit further back this time. Hung. One. 
That filing cabinet looks mean. Let's go this way. I've never been into this screen before. Red tape. Ooh. What's that up there? Is that a thing I can touch? Don't like it. Silicon slice store. Okay. I reckon I can touch the red tape up there. That shouldn't be... That doesn't look like too much of a platforming conundrum. Not like the coat hanger maze I just went through. Foot! 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 Okay, red tape. That's made that flash. Oh, Christ! I'm in the... I didn't expect that to happen. So many weird, trippy faces. Hunger... Seems like the start of this game's quite tricky. Oh no! But I feel like I've I've got a little. I feel like I'm making some I'm making some moves now. I'm making some progress. But the silicon etching tank shit's got real woo acid. Hmm. Definitely <laughs> a lot of acid involved in this game. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think I might have to turn these on in other parts of the game. Oh, wait, no, that did a thing. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is doing. Ooh. Not sure I want to go across the bottom and try and face that <laughs> that death square. Maybe I have to, though. Let's have a quick look here. And uh, What the... Oh! Oh, that is an actual lift that has taken me to a different floor. Oh, that's clever. I like that. I'm not sure I can get past the clean room, though. That's very... That is cool. Oh, that is that is very good. Okay, that's... So I presume I started on floor one? Well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I was on floor two with the canteen. Dooby 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 doo doo doo. Oh, what is this? The tea machine? Christ on a bike. <laughs> Dead. Oh, can you not? I guess you can't jump on the, the, the tea machine. So we are going to have to go across the bottom. Who were? Alright, where's that stop? About here. Please don't hit me. Oh, you fuck. So we're starting off with... Oh, fuck. Starting off with Technician Ted. We've got plenty of games to play. Uh, Dragon Talk, Southern Bell, Heathrow, Battle Valley, Quasitron. So once this... This one's over. Fuck! <laughs> then I'll, uh, I'll move on to the next... The next game. Hey, Tonsa. This is a tough game. I'll probably never see the reply because I'm busy trying not to die, but did you ever complete this game yourself, Andrew Hewson? Oh, God, you can... Okay, you can stand on it now, huh? Oh, n no. Oh, pff, there we go. In the bin. 
That's too, that's too difficult for uh, old man Higton. Do do. So that was the Chip Factory, aka Technician Ted. Uh, a classic for the ZX Spectrum from Houston Consultants. Uh, but it's bloody hard. Bloody hard. Not a chance, says Huey Games. Okay, not a chance. Fair enough. Let's go for... So I've heard a few people mention Southern Bell. So let's do Southern Bell. Southern Bell comes in a plastic clamshell case. I just throw it around. If you're not used to uh, loading noises, by the way, in ZX Spectrum, I'm just throwing that around, uh, maybe lower your volume for your computer. I think it's going to be the same on either side. Because things are about to get a little high pitched. So, Southern Bell. I've never played Southern Bell before. Journey back to the glorious days of steam aboard the footplate of the powerful King Arthur class 460. Ooh, what's that? Oh. Ooh. Over 100 combinations of journey type, control level, and schedule, plus a variety of tricky situations for those tackling the problem run. So it's got a little bit in here, it's got, so inside the clamshell case, just inside the front cover is uh, the instructions, ooh, there's a Southern Bell free poster offer here. Complete the questionnaire below and send us the address, send it to us at the address Overleaf and we will send you a free four colour poster, four whole colours, cool. Where did you learn about Southern Bell? In a magazine? In an article? Recommended by a friend? Saw it in a shop? How long have you had your Spectrum? How many programs have you purchased? What age range do you fall into? What leisure magazines do you read? Southern Bell special order form on the back. You can order Dragon Talk was £7.95. Technician Ted was £5.95. Here's the, uh, here's the lovely load screen. Loading noise is my ringtone, says Back You Dog. Okay, what's well, the Southern Bell? How a steam locomotive works. Oh, this looks... Okay, there's, there's a lot of, lot of text here. It looks like um, steering, steering a train, controlling a train is going to be pretty, pretty difficult. Did you ever play Robin Hood on the Spectrum? I did. I played Robin Hood on the... I have it. Uh, it's part of my Codemasters collection. These notes describe the operation of a steam locomotive with a particular reference to the screen display and controls of Southern Bell. Understanding how a steam locomotive works will help you to master the controls more quickly. The driving force of the locomotive comes from the cylinders where a piston is pushed back and forth by the steam pressure raised in the boiler. Hot gases from the firebox are drawn through the boiler by a system of tubes, which heat the water to boiling point, converting it into steam. The hot gases drawn through the boiler then enter the smoke box and escape through the chimney. The performance of the locomotive depends upon the pressure in the boiler, which can be controlled by manipulating the fire. Oh my word. I already, I already know that I'm going to be completely confused by this game. Water gauges. There are two vertical tubes in the center of the cab. They are very important as they give a visual indication of the level of water in the boiler. The bottom of the gauge is one inch above the firebox top, which must be kept at all times, otherwise... Oh, which must be kept covered at all times, otherwise the fire will heat the fire top... Well, they'll heat the firebox top beyond limits, causing special plugs called fusible plugs to melt, allowing steam into the firebox. This action cools the fire and alerts the train crew. If too much water is carried in the boiler and the gauge reaches the top, water instead of steam will enter the cylinders, causing permanent damage. Ideally, you should attempt to maintain a water level in the top half of the gauge. Should a failure occur, the run will be terminated with a con consequential loss of marks. There's other sections on steam pressure gauge, whistle, 
regulator or cut off, vacuum brake, blower, injectors, dampers, fire hole doors and gradients. This is one hardcore steam locomotive simulator uh, from way, way back in 1985. The offer for the t-shirt the offer for the t-shirt ends in 1986. I think I've missed that. And I'm pretty sure Houston Consultants don't live on Milton Trading Estate anymore. Which is a shame. So I'd go and visit if I did. <clears> oh, <throat> cross there. Hey, Mark Rots Nuts. Hey, Andy Steen. I don't remember the games taking this long to load back in the day, says Backy Dog. It's it all depends. Loads of games took different times, like Jet Set Willy takes like three minutes to load. Uh This looks like it's nearly done. I've got games like um Seymour Wild West Seymour takes ages to run. Here we go. Nought is computer demonstration run, one is a training run. Ooh, record run, Southern Bell problem run, load to saved run, enter for high speed run. Let's do, um, should we, should we do a training run or a computer demonstration run? Computer demonstration run? Drivers are reminded not to make excessive smoke at Victoria Station. Computer demonstration run, control level zero. Press enter to continue. Okay, so there they are in Victoria's Station. All aboard. There's the whistle. The water is at 17 and 3 quarters. The coal is 24 and the speed is naught. All aboard the Southern Bell. Pip. There we go, we're going on a train journey in the Southern Bell. It's moving slowly. It's at speed one mile per hour. Two train miles per, na per hour. It's picking up. I'll tell you what. Those newfangled train simulators ain't got, an, ain't got a patch on this. So the Southern Bell is now picking up speed out of Victoria Station. 15 miles an hour now. So all the dials have different letters by them. There's C, V, I, B, and D. So I presume you press them and it changes what they do. I'm not sure what each dial is, though. And then it's off. It's on. It's on tracks. Still runs faster than Star Citizen. Hey, this is Mark Rock Nuts. Tim Coleman says I was wishing for an R tape loading error. I'm sure that will happen, Tim Coleman. They, I've done Spectrum streams before when that has happened. So, yeah, don't be surprised if that does happen. All these games as well that I've got to play are uh, well. I've I've never played them before, so I've not tested them. I don't know if they work or not. So they're in Battersea Park now. Can I? Is there a quit out? Or do I have to sit through the whole demonstration? That would be... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Here's Battersea Power Station. I actually like modelled Battersea Power Station. Uh, you, you know, it's distinctive design there, and that's pretty cool. I, I There's no way I could be bothered to reload it again. Oh, press it, held. Enter to run. They've opened up the fiery what's it. There's Battersea Power Station. I think they've put some coal in. That's going very fast. It's 32 miles an hour now. Oh, 33. Is there a way to quit back? So I've got no... No. Going through the station. Lovely stuff. Nice attention to detail there, getting the uh, stations in and stuff. Clapham Junction. Lovely stuff. Choo choo.
You're locked in for the whole thing now. He says that. Andy Steen. Oh no. I don't know how long the whole the whole uh, journey is. You can quit this by throwing coal at the screen, says Tim Coleman. Ruh row. One's worth common. And it's, this computer demo is pretty good. They're, 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 they're chugging along super fast now. To be honest, I'd probably still be stuck in the station if I was trying to play this by now. It looks pretty complicated. There's definitely no list of controls hiding around, is there? I presume I should have done that training one. Just a little beep there. Southern Bell is going fast now. 38 miles an hour fast. Where are we now? Stratton Common. What's the destination supposed to be? Norbury. Journey back to the glorious... Oh, I've read that. Over a hundred combinations of journey type, control level and schedule, plus a variety of tricky situations for those tackling the problem run. This is by Mike Mayle and Bob Hillier. The Southern Bell Steam Engine Simulator. That's pretty... It's pretty cool, though. I, I, I will probably give it a an actual proper go at some point. If he doesn't pull into this into a station soon, though, I should probably go on to the next game because we're already thirty minutes into the stream. Hello, Lord Ars. Welcome, sir. We're watching Ian watch a game. Hey, Keel Hansen. I'm holding my breath until the train reaches Purley as I worked there, said Simply Phil. Let's see if it gets to Purley. East Croydon. A couple of people from Eurogamer live in Croydon. It's probably better that I, I selected... that I selected uh, the demo. Because we're getting to see all the stations now. Whereas I'd have probably like flipped the train or... crashed it and uh, team killed someone with it or something. Bob, Bob. Pearly Oaks. Andy Steen says it's Victoria to Edinburgh in real time. Oh my god, no. I'm currently on a train watching Ian play a train simulation. Oh god, the headaches, as Nick Reed. <laughs> woo woo. Well, there's Pearly. So, uh, you can breathe again, simply, Phil. There it is, exactly like Pearly Station. I wonder if they travelled to all the different stations and uh, took photos so they could realistically model the stations, or if they just guessed. I think it might be the same kind of station every time. This is a charming little game, though. It's pretty nice. Uh, this game does not have a Battle Royale mode, I'm afraid, Keel Hansen. Side part time crazy says side B of the cassette is the bus replacement service game. Nice. Oh, we're going for a tunnel. Cane Hill Tunnel. Oh, it's shit's getting crazy. Quarry Tunnel. It doesn't look like we're anywhere near slowing down. I'm afraid. Yep, well, no. <laughs> This you games. You can probably do this game in about five minutes when the spec when the spectrum next and its forty megahertz mode comes out. Says Lord Ars. I'm still, I still don't know whether to get a ZX Spectrum next or not. I can't. I really. I do really want one, but I've got like one, two. I've got three, four ZX Spectrums anyway. <laughs> I know you can do more on the ZX Spectrum next, but. Uh, Gash Ola and stuff. It's up 58 miles an hour now. 59. Uh, Alright, well I think we'll... Um, we've said enough of Southern Bell to know how that works, sort of. Well, we know that I, could, I couldn't work it. I should have tried 
my own game before. Sticking on the demo, maybe. Never mind. Southern Bell, though, it works. It looks pretty cool. We went to Purley and Salford's. Uh, pretty exciting. I think the next. What should I play next? Let's play something a little bit more action packed. Let's try. Let's try Battle Valley. Never heard of this game either. So again, thanks to uh, Andrew Houston for sending all these games in. Um, it's it's uh, it's it's. I'm very grateful for you to uh, for you to send. Um, I'm very grateful that you sent them in. I'm sorry. Finding words hard today. It's been a long day. Hey, Dougie. All right. Well, like I said, plenty of plenty of Houston games to get through, and oh shit, the loading times not super great. Wait, is this a plus two game? I could probably do this in 128k actually. Let's give it a go. This is Racket Battle Valley Racket Southern Bell. Choo choo! So we've done Southern Bell and we've done Technician Ted. Still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. So good. This is a tank helicopter side scroller, according to Tim Coleman. Lord R says Battle Valley, new one on me. I'll show you the uh, the cover. Might be keyed out slightly. Oh, it's also backwards. Battle Valley. It's part of the racket range. Uh, <clears throat> while it's loading, I'll read the blurb after I've had a little drink. I say little drink, it's ginormous. Okay, the peace summit was successful. An arms treaty has been signed. All medium range, mis re all medium range missiles have been destroyed, except for two which have been captured by a group of terrorists who plan to destroy the Western world unless their fellow terrorists are released from a penitentiary in the United States. Your task as a mercenary employed by the United States government is to capture the terrorist bases in their desert outposts, Battle Valley, and eliminate the two missiles. Okay. This is uh, Battle Valley is by Simon Wellard. The Spectrum and Amstrad versions were by John Wildsmith, or Wildsmith. Aim of the game. The player starts off at his central HQ, and his aim is to progress from there to capture all terrorist bases, three located in either direction. Then the two missiles have to be destroyed in their silos found beyond the two farthest bases. This must all be completed before the countdown reaches zero. Otherwise, the missiles will be launched and the world destroyed. In between the bases lie many different weapons, which steadily increase in speed and complexity as more ground is covered. Most of the weapons can be eliminated by using the helicopter. The remainder must be destroyed using the tank. Note that the terrorist bases and the missile silos themselves can only be destroyed by the tank. The helicopter has a winch which is used to collect pontoons for mending broken bridges or to collect extra ammunition from rooftops. The tank collects ammunition when it is halted on the grid at an ammo dump. Sounds kind of complicated. You can define your keys. You can toggle the music on and off. Uh, looks like it's basically just left and right and up. Select... Select tank. Using tank or okay. Oh, so that's in the base. You press left or right to select the tank or the helicopter. OP moves it left and right. QA up and down. QA OP space control scheme. Excellent. Got some scoring. Use some consultants. This was 1988, this one. Seems good. This sounds epic. Hope it, <laughs> hope it has a replay and a death cam, says AJ. Me too, me too. I'm not sure it will, though. Waiting for the R-tape loading error, says Lord Ass. Well, yeah, we've had a few people say that, Lord Ass. So far, so good. I don't want to jinx myself, but so far we've had no 
No crashes. That's quite colourful, though, eh? I just realised the comments are a bit... Why are they... Here we go. Let's get them like there. That's better. That's better for the comments. Taking up a bit more space now. Sorry. Got so much to concentrate on. I've got so many wires going around. My spectrum is going into a HD converter that's going into... Uh, my Spectrum's got a special SCART cable that goes into a converter that goes into HMI that goes into HDMI that goes into my PC. I've got a separate tape deck because I'm playing this on my Spectrum Plus 3, so that's going in there. I've got my microphone cables. It's all... it's just crazy. Anyway, Battle Valley. Let's see if I can be better at Battle Valley than I was at Technician Ted, because boy did I suck at Technician Ted. That game is solid. All right, space. So in a HQ, I can either pick the helicopter. Oh, no, I've picked the tank already. So the tank automatically goes to the right. I can't turn back around. Firing does work, sort of. Okay, this is good. So far, so good. I destroyed that light. What does that mean? Shells. Oh, oh, is that some parallax scrolling there? Ooh. That's nice. That's some early parallax scrolling there. Keeps... So occasionally the tank stops. Oh, shit. Moderate. Is that damage? I don't know how the why the tank sometimes stops like that. Graphics are pretty nice, actually. There's some. It's just stop. There's some really nice. Um, the depth of field kind of thing is pretty cool. I just want to see if there's a way to swap between a helicopter while in game. One on the base. No, it looks like you can only delete transfer to the farthest captured base. I think you can only do one at a time. Ooh. Oh man, look at all three of those colours, says Mark Rot's nuts. Sexy colour. I can see at least four colours. 17 shells left. What is this? Is this the. Have I captured the base? I don't know. Was I supposed to blow that up? Who knows? Another anti-air launcher. Oh, Christ. Okay, another bridge. Ooh! Oh, no. Oh! Okay, so how was it? I think it was Q to select the helicopter. There we go. Okay, we'll go to the left with the helicopter. See what the, see what the deal is with the helicopter. Wait, how did I change? How the how, I changed direction with it then somehow. Maybe it did it automatically. Wow. Looks like the looks like the tank has done pretty much all the damage. There's something about a pontoon. Halt helicopter, then hold down fire or space key. Move joystick up and down, or use Q and A to move the winch up and down. I don't know how you halt the helicopter. What's that there? Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, let's go this way. 
Off he goes. Little tanky man. No, I can't I can't figure out a way to halt it. Do, 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 do. Oops. So it stops by itself for some reason. Light damage. Such graphics. Much explosions. This is very action packed. I presume. I presume that there is, like, a knack to this that I, I haven't twigged. Often, it, often there is with Spectrum. What the shit? How do they make him go so fast? <laughs> Jump it! Oh. Got mind of its own this game. He suddenly just started rocketing along. Will there be a live stream for Huey Games on Oh balls. Huey Games on C64. I don't actually um I don't actually own a C64 chili vodka. <clears throat> Alright, so I, I I guess we've got the idea of uh, Battle Valley. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to research that before I play it next time, I think. What should we do next? Oh let's do okay, let's do this. This is Dragon Talk, the living adventure movie. Now, I uh, I only noticed this when I took the screenshot for the thumbnail, but uh, it's actually been signed by Andrew Hewson as well, which is pretty sweet on the front. Uh, I guess I flipped my camera, but uh, that's his signature there in white. I don't know if it's on the, it on the front cover. Yeah, it's on the front cover. I don't know how long ago he signed it. It looks like it might have been signed a very long time ago. Uh, inside here, let's see. Let's get it loading before I check out everything that's inside. Oh, the whole thing is a. Oh, there's loads of stuff here. Okay, Dragon Talk looks pretty cool. Okay, it's forty-eight k. So go there. There. Dot. Dot. So Dragon Talk is the living adventure movie. By Steve Turner. Morak meets an elf in Westwood Forest and gives him a bow. Oh, that's... Oh, that's the... Uh, what's going on in the picture. Seek out the five crowns of Britain forged from the mystical dragon talk and free Merlin from the evil grip of Morag the... Oh, it help if I press play. Morag the shapeshifter. Over 80 characters, each with sensory animation, living in more than 200 locations, with myriads of objects to help or hinder you. This is a sequel to Avalon, the first adventure movie. Uh, Avalon is the best thing I've seen in, event in arcade adventures. That's from Crash Micro. Use a chopper winch to pick up the yellow platforms. Use platforms to repair the bridge, says Huey Games. Right, well. I definitely need to replay that again when I know what's going on. So Dragon Talk has got lots of stuff going on for it. Oh god. Loads of like colour screenshots there. Might have some stuff keyed out. The, the illustration's quite good. Could be a Skyrim thing. But the detailed instructions are extremely detailed. Everything, every bloody ZX Spectrum game it's got tiny fonts. There's a, an, a special offer for one pound off Avalon uh, in here. 
if you want to order. And there's also, what have we got here? Oh God. Do not use lose this piece of paper. You need it to play Dragon Talk. It's one of the those code sheets. Okay, and this is the Lost Realms of the Dragon Talk. This is a map, a map of Dragon Talk. That's very cool. Still backwards, but you get the drift. It's England, but with loads of medieval stuff on, and then. On the back there's like a poem and more background information. There's a lot of information about this game. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do it justice in the uh, 15 minutes I've allocated each game. Scenario. Many years have passed since Marok vanquished the Lord of Chaos and banished him from his earthly realm, freeing the soul entombed with the shell within the shell of Avalon Rathbane. The Rod of Power and the Servant Ring are Marek's only reminders of this terrible encounter. Long he has wandered, avoiding the affairs of men, living the life of a nomad in the Great Forest, where the old magic still lingers. The fragile peace of Britain had been threatened by many dark forces ever since the last legions of Rome <coughs> left to shore up their crumbling empire. Vorgan, the Lord of the Five Kings of Britain, struggled to hold his lands united in the face of the onslaught of the barbarian nations who were sweeping across the North Sea from the troubled plains of Europe. In desperation, he employed a Saxon army, recruited from the very forces of his enemies, to guard his eastern shores. Crazy. So much going on here. Detailed instructions. There's ley lines in there. Spells. You can make a map. If you wish to pause to make a map. Oh. If you wish to pause to make it, so you have to draw your own map. Uh, then you can press P to freeze the game. I think. Missiles, spells. Curse of spells, foreground spells, basic controls are very straightforward. Up, down, left, right, and fire. You are asked to select your keyboard joystick preference before the game begins. When Dragon Talk is loaded and the initial screens are completed, you will be presented with a view of a forest clearing with a pathway on the right hand side. Marak sits cross legged in the centre and a large scroll is displayed at the bottom of the screen on which the words Move, Servant and Bane are written. These are spells. A large arrow points to the spell which will be selected when the fire button is pressed. Oh, crikey. Oh, this is, I'm actually intimidated by this game. <laughs> Type in a number at A10. A. Oh, it is double-sided. It's just really faint. It's really faint on the other side, so I didn't think there was anything on there. A10 is 8684. There you go. I've told you one of the codes. Now you can pirate your very own copy of Avalon. Here you go. Press 1 to 4 to change option. Enter to start program. Oh, Christ. Up, down, left, right. A, up, down, A, Z. A, Z, N, M. And fire is L. Oh, God, that's, that's hard on the old fingers. Number four. Enter. Press enter for a new game. Steve Tanner's Dragon Torque. Oh, 
Cool. Uh, so Houston Games there has uh, put a code into the chat. 95M5 it is with some other stuff after it. He says, redeem it at houstonconsultants.bandcamp.com forward slash yum. What is that? I, mean, I, I want to know what that is. Okay, here we go. So this is this is the old dragon talk guy. Um, what is it? Maroc sits cross-legged in the center. Adjust when you have this. How many? Okay. Move servant bane. Let's go move. Project thy soul. Oh. 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 I'm a, oh. Oh. I'm projecting thy soul. We. Oh. Oh. I've got, I've got a bow. Oh, can I not go that way? There's some dude chasing me with an arrow. Oh, I, I don't seem to be able to go this way. My soul is getting a... My soul's getting battered. How do I... How do I bring my soul back? Home. Move. 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 Project thy soul. Oh, Christ. Ah... Uh... Servant? What's that? Wraith? No. I think I just casted a, a helping hand. Uh. Oh, Christ, on a bike. Is that a path? I think these things are paths, are they? I can go up? Yeah, they are. So... These bits here that I think are little paths, you can go up. And then... Oh, look at this. This is a... I mean, technically, this is a, a pretty amazing feat for the Specky. But I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> oh, what's this? Can I move to there? Can I do anything with it? This is, like, again, this is where it, I would have benefited in reading, like, 32 hours worth of just ooh, instructions. Your rank is now Apprentice Magician, 0.0%. To move... First line moves to move to move to five button stuff is going to first to change moves to moves to Explore the Wispboard Forest. There are magic items for you to collect by moving Marok so he passes over them. You're in crowd and wisps and elves as you move around. To open the door If Marok collects an item my god. This is complicated. <laughs> Steve Turner adapted the Horizon routine from 3D Lunar Attack for Avalon and Dragon Talk, says Huey Games. Ooh. Oh, actually. I wonder if Steve will make the third part of this game. You mentioned it in the Specky Addict vig, says Lord Art. Love this game, says Lord Ass. Is there a list of games Ian has played or is going to play, says Mozzie? I, I listed off the games that I've got at the start of this stream. Ah, there's the bank camp thing. Do, 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 do. Lovely stuff. Right, where was I? Okay, Servant. That was Bane. Wraith Bane.
servant a helping hand. So with that you can cast a little helping a little helping hand, a little little dude, and then can you can I then control the little dude? Oh yeah, I can look. He's picked up a he's picked up that. And then I've dropped it on on him. Can I go along with this? No, he's so he only is a helping hand throughout the through one room. So here we go. I'm projecting my soul. I'm going off exploring the forest. Wait, what's it? Okay, so Bane, Wraith Bane. Oh, was <laughs> so bad. You start from Westward. Use the spells. Move servant and bane at your command. Are you okay. You can sample the arcade style features of Dragon Talk by selecting Bane and attacking the Wisps, but be careful of your energy level. Explore the wood to, con to collect the missile spell. Okay. Right. Move. Would you guys all? And then. Bane. Uh, Bane. L. Wraith Bane. Project that, so I'm projecting my soul again. Where's Bane? Wraith Bane. I d God knows. <laughs> I'm so bad at these games. I have no idea. I have no idea what the fuck is going on there. <laughs> Dragon talk. Sample the arcade style features of Dragon Talk by selecting Bane and attacking the Wisps, but be careful of your energy level. Bane. Wraith Bane. Select. I've got Bane selected. So, then what? Can't. I don't seem to be shooting anything. Sausage talk says simply Phil. This is indeed sausage talk. Don't get me wrong, this is a great game, it just takes an age to play, says Tim Coleman. I mean, again, I have no idea what I'm doing with that one. And I don't have enough time to, uh, if I want to show off all of these games, I don't have enough time to play it, to work out what the fuck's going on. It's something I'm going to do 
in my own private time, I think. Ian can walk the walk, but he can't talk the talk. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Backy Dog. Very good. Project thy soul. So projecting thy soul is just... Um... Oh, that got me killed. <laughs> Projecting ice on is just the way you move. Alright. We do the one that Houston software is like most famous for now. Which is Iridium. Is it 128k or just 48k? I'm gonna go be safe and just do 48k. Oh shit. JLoad dash dash. So Iridium is kind of like Houston's most famous game. Uh, it comes, well I've got it here in a double pack, oh, there we go, here's our first first problem tape, it comes here in a double pack with Fire Lord, and again it's quite, quite a huge amount of uh, info here actually. The, the inlay folds out a little bit. It's not too bad. They see uh, Fire Lord on the right and Iridium on the left. Let's give it a go here. J Load. Come on. J Load. Dish dish. Okay. Let's see if it works. That's changing colour slightly. The solar system is under attack. Enemy super dreadnoughts have been placed in orbit around each of the planets in this galactic sector. They are draining mineral resources from the planet <laughs> from the planetary cores for use in their interstellar power units. Each super dreadnought seeks out a different metal for its metal converter. Ooh, sexy loading screen, that's nice. Your Manta-class space fighter will be transported to each planet in turn, and it is your task to destroy each dreadnought. First, you must attack the defensive screen of enemy fighters, then you must neutralize the majority of the surface defenses before you land on the Super Dreadnought's master runway. It is then possible to destroy the vast bulk of the dreadnought, dreadnought and vaporize it into the vacuum of space. So ZX is left and right. Up and down is L and shift. Enter or joystick fire. Christ. I have to get the joystick out for this one. So, if you're wondering what Houston have been up to recently, they've uh, they're working on releasing a game called Hyper Sentinel, which is kind of like a spiritual successor to Iridium. It's uh, it's kind of I think it's voxel voxel graphics based. I did um. I did a video on it for Eurogamer, I think. Was it a video or a stream? I did something on it for Eurogamer. And uh, it was quite good fun. It was just... Uh, it was the iPhone version I played way back when. 
I think they're porting it to consoles and stuff now. Uh, or he's planning to. But it's good fun. Uh, I enjoyed it. I, uh, I, I think I managed to complete the demo that I was given. So uh, that's probably, probably better than I'm going to do with any of these games today. But if you're, uh, if you're interested in games like Iridium, then uh, check out Hyper Sentinel from Houston. And uh, you'll be able to get like a modern style. Uh, uh, you'll be able to play a game like this, but on modern stuff. Is what I'm trying to say. God, my brain is falling out of my ass today. I'm tired. Not been sleeping very well again lately. You know me and my insomnia. See you later, Ben Bowen. Rockstar ate my hamster. Space Hoppercopter's talking about. I streamed Rockstar ate my uh, Rockstar ate my hamster a while back on my plus three stream uh, when I was playing plus three discs. <clears throat> ben Bowen says buy a C64 Ian. Blech. Oh, just mentioned Hyper Sentinel, says Lord Ass. I think Hyper Sentinel has a retro mode that displays C64 Spectrum versions of the graphics. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Well... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, back in the day, I was more into the Dizzy games and things like that. I could play, I could play a Dizzy game and not get confused and die in the first five seconds. Most of these games I'm playing for the very first time. Iridium I've played before. I'm not sure I, I potentially I've streamed it before on, on this channel. I think I might have streamed it on, on a previous one of these, you know, and done pretty bad. Uh, original design, Andrew Braybrook. Programmed by Dominic Robinson. So ZX left right XL. Okay. Boop. Player one, prepare. Okay, let's slow down. Let's change. What's fuck? What's shoot? What what is the shit is shoot? I thought shift was shoot. I've paused it now. Okay, here we go. Alright, okay. Oh, it's... Here we go. Okay, I've got the controls now. So, enters fire. This is different to what it said in the box, I think. So first of all, I have to destroy the, uh, the, the... Oh, shit. I have to destroy the flying ships. Then I have to destroy the things on the station. And then I have to... Oh, God. Tricky. And then I have to land and blow some stuff up. Ian, stay away from the blue things. Tee -hee. I like the way, I do like the way the, the ship turns, so that's nice. Has it like a kind of, even though it's like a few pixels... It it gives a nice three D effect of it completely flipping over. That's that's some good good graphics. Let's slow right down. Oh, I've I flew into a post. I could tell it was a post because it had a shadow. Screw you, donuts of death. 
bloody parked shit. Oh, fuck. It's tricky. Nope. Screw the donuts of death. I'm alright getting the ones that are <laughs> the ships that are parked. Oh fuck. You have amassed a great score, please enter your initials. Someone please tell him about the homing missiles. How do you do the homing missiles? It was the homing missiles, the things that keep killing me. Eat that donuts of death. Ooh. Okay, go on. Shoot these ships. Get away, get away, get away. Post again. I was got too cocky there. Come back. Okay, blow up these guys. Don't get homing missiles. Land now. How do I... How the shit do I land? Oh. I don't know how you land. <laughs> I don't know how you land or where you're supposed to land, actually. Fuck! Walls, Ian's greatest enemy. It's true, they are, unfortunately. Alright, one more go, and then I better move on to the next game. Which I'm sure I'll be utterly useless at as well. Oh god, that was a homing missile. So I... Oh, fuck. So I've done pretty terrible on every single one of these games I've played so far today. Oh, you bastard. One more go. But that's because uh, most of these games I didn't own, and this is the first time I'm ever playing them. So apologies. Apologies if I'm wrecking your childhood memories by being an utter shit waffle at controlling video games. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm doing it because I'm inept. Go, run, run, run. No, 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 no. Oh. Right, I just need to fly past that real quick. No. Oh. Tricky though. All these games from back in the day, they're made super hard because if they were like. Oh, you 
dick. <laughs> if they're really easy, you'd be able to complete them. And like I've like played that games like Rogue Trooper on the ZX Spectrum, which is so easy. I completed it on my second go in five minutes. You don't want to do that if you're paying like fuck seven pounds a game or whatever the hell this cost. It's solid though. I presume part of it's just oh, fuck, playing again and again and learning the patterns of where the ships spawn and stuff. It's not as hard as Technician Ted, that's for sure. So the donuts there. Oh, donuts there. So more donuts. Uh, not sure how you kill the, the homing miss fuck how you kill the homing miss on things oh well there we go I survived for a little bit longer that time alright so that was uh, Iridium I'll do the second game on this tape, which is Fire Lord, which again looks like it might be a bit super complicated. Pajama Rama was my favourite Wally game, closely followed by Three Weeks in Paradise, says Septimus Frank. So left to play now a Quasitron, Anarchy, Heathrow Air Traffic Control, and uh, Fire Lord. Which we're gonna play now. Let's let's find out what Fire Lord is. Someone was tweeting me saying they were really excited to see Fire Lord because they played it when they were younger. So I apologies in advance for me ruining your memories. This is by Stephen Crow. And the path wove deeper through the forest, beckoning Sir Galahart further into the flickering shadows. A voice spoke out in the dimming gloom. My son, you have returned to this land of Torot to discover its hidden secrets. You must seek out the sacred firestone and return it to the dragon's safe keeping. Galahart trembled with fear as he recalled how the evil queen had seized the Firestone and used its power to curse the land with fire and ghostly apparitions who drifted the streets in ghastly imitation of the once happy inhabitants. At one time the people who roamed freely... Oh, at one time the people had roamed freely, but now they were cowered in their homes. Her price for the release of the stone was for some brave warrior to win for her the four charms of eternal youth. The brave knight sank to his knees, overpowered by fear and foreboding. Fear not, said the voice, for the answer lies within the kingdom. Use the enchanted crystals and fail not. Sir Galahart was alone. A feeling of mystery filled the forest. The very air breathed the secrets of this haunted land. I think whoever wrote that was drunk. Controlling Sir Galahart. O-P-Q-A-M to fire. Nice. When you enter a house, you may trade with the occupant. Each occupant provides one or more service. Types of services. Scales, trade an object, find out where you are, cast a spell. You can steal stuff from the shop, that's quite cool. We shall see though, if I can even make it to a shop. Uh, also included <laughs> processors in don't play the Heathrow game for the lives of the passengers no uh, that is a very cool title screen actually you're right um, Dario Ruellen so oh where's all the comments gone oh, yeah. uh, so 
included in the box that Andrew Houston sent me was a pullout from a magazine. I don't know what magazine it was, but it's a it's a map, an age-old map of fight for Fire Lord. So this may either help or hinder me. On the back it's got adverts for the Top Gun game and a Dragon's Quest 2 game. Old school. Smells like history. So yeah, we got the we've got a map here for Fire Lord, which I don't know where you start. Is there a, does it say where the start is? Peasant Knight Hermit. That is a very, very complicated map. Oh my god, start. So there's the start. Oh, good damn. Top Gun played that two player on the Amstrad every lunchtime, says Septimus Frank. See that, Tim Coleman? Wow, I've got 120 people watching uh, this stream at the moment. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. This isn't. A PUBG stream, perhaps some of you have, uh, are, are subscribers from my PUBG stuff. I also do these games, retro games, these streams which are retro games on retro hardware. I play old school games on the original hardware, which is why I'm loading these games individually via tape. Why, which is why you have to sit there and listen to all the stuff. Uh, this is a special, a special Hewson edition of games you uh games you never knew existed retro games on retro hardware i'm playing all houston games that were sent in to me by andrew houston himself all of them except for technician ted which was mine uh, although i didn't do very good with it did i define your own keys left o p a q spice g there we go. Okay, zero. Start game. Torot, the Cursed Kingdom. Oh, this is okay. Oh, this is this is nice. Is that going to kill me? No. What's this here? What's that? Is that a shop? Can I enter that shop? Fire does nothing at the moment, so maybe I need to get a weapon. Oh shit. What are these things? Okay, yeah, they're battering me. I've just picked up something else. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. Lots of fire there. Oh. Ooh, okay. Well, that's nice how when you die, your helmet that makes a clung clung noise. Ow. Yeah. Ooh, it's instant kill on the fire. Can I, like... There you go. Oh, my God. Instant death on the fire. That's pretty... Pretty brutal. I wanna find a I wanna find a house. What have we got here? Oop. What's that? I just picked up a sack of something. Oh Christ. Uh, the bad guy oh no. The bad guy's coming really Fuck! Just burnt my toes off. I really like the noise the, the helmet makes when it falls on the floor. They've got a nice little metallic noise there. Ah, here we go. Okay, so here's a shop. Uh, is that the shopkeep? What have we got here? All these things. I don't know what these things are. I'm going to try and nick it. Oh. Stand trial, thief. Innocent. Oh, shit. Innocent. In the oh, death. Oops. Okay, maybe I can. Oop. 
So, I don't know where my... I've got some baguettes there. Hey! Oh, I can, I can shoot! Yeah! Okay. Now we're cooking with biscuits. So I don't know where I am. I think I went into that. I'm completely lost as to where I am. But I've got I've got something that can shoot now. So screw you, dicks. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> what? What the hell killed me there? What's that? What are you? All right. Let's pretend this is the top left-hand corner. It might not be though. Which? Was that? Oh, that was a witch. Okay. Oh, so if I'm there, that means this will be a down only. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I've found my place on the map. Wait. Ah. It's tricky. Feudal rating, a peasant. Charms found zero. Adventure score, three percent. Oh dear. Check out the idle animation. Look left, look right. Okay, I'll do that right now. Let's have another go. Zero, start game. Dorot! Okay, here's the uh, idle animation. That's cool. Right, so we're at the start. If I go up, there should be a shop. Roll it. Yeah, there is. Look. What is this? Ah, oh, what? Stand trial, thief. Oh. Okay, I think I got away with it. Yeah, I nicked it. And I do it again. Tee hee. Oop. Oh, okay, I've got. Pull that. Oh, it ricochets around. Okay, excellent. This game's pretty sweet. Uh, so if I go. Where was I? If I go up here. Is that right? Yeah, up here. There's another house up around here. Somewhere. Is that going to kill me? Oh, I can't get through that yet. What is blocking me? Oh, okay. Well, that's blocking me. I can't get through that way. What? Lovely bits. What is this? Oh, shit. Yeah. Absolutely destroying these nerds now. That map's super useful, though. Ooh. Magic place. Cast this spell to reach here again. Broom and hat. Okay. Ah, shit. And how you cast spells. Loads of these games need modern day remakes. Uh, now there's better control inputs and things. Dragon Talk reboot, please. So you can do proper casting of spells easily. And you know what you're doing. Again, navigating the fire is tricky. I like this game though. This is so colourful and 
like well presented. It really is a a great example of pushing the specky to its limits. Huh. I'm still not. I still have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, but. It is a lovely little game. Hoop. What's that? Oh. Fire that stops and starts. Leave me alone. Ah, I died again. I think I bled out. Hoop. Okay, what's in this building? Can I nick something again? Ooh, okay, there's a wizard. What are these things? What's this mean? Breads. Okay. Oh, he saw me. Whoops. Innocent. In oh. Ah, uh, dead. All right. Well, that is cool. I do like Fire Lord. This is another one. Fire Lord, Southern Bell, and Dragon Talk are definitely ones I'm going to be. I'm going to replay them after this stream when I've got a little bit of time to just sit down and read the instructions and work out what the chuff is going on. This one definitely seems really cool. I, I, I really like this game. It's a nice game. I like your game. You're nice. Just need to put the. See if I can get the map in the case somehow. Okay. Okay. Was a tr no. Let's do. Let's do Heathrow. <laughs> let's get Heathrow out of the way because this one looks. This one looks terrifying. Trade the objects for another for another object or food or directions, says Dario Ruelan. I got Fire Lord for the Commodore on my summer games collect on a summer games collection. It's sweet. There's MVL gaming. I think a lot of these things I'm gonna need to like read walkthroughs and stuff to work out how to properly do them because. Congratulations, you are a proud owner of Heathrow Air Traffic Control for the 16K or 48K ZX Spectrum. 48K. You get emails that are more than 48K all the time now. Your purchase will provide you with hours of fun because it simulates as closely as possible the real-life operation of the Air Traffic Control Centre at London Heathrow Airport. You should not expect to understand all the operations immediately. You must first learn the meanings of special words and phrases like localizer, expedition, glide slope, and fully established. To make the most of your cassettes as soon as possible, you're advised to A. Read all the instructions, particularly sections 3 and 4. B. Load the cassette and watch the demonstration. C. Reread sections 3 and 4. D. Rerun exercise 5 and follow the description of it in section 4. You should <laughs> you should then be ready to progress through the various exercises. Eventually you will become fully capable of dealing with any situation and will be able to take charge of Heathrow air traffic control. So what I'm hoping fuck what I'm <laughs> the print is tiny. Oh god. This is there's, 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 there's no way. What the shit is happening here? I mean, if anything ever goes wrong at a Heathrow Air Terminal, 
you know, everyone just vanishes. And they're like, Ian, we need someone to land all the planes. I'm going to be like, well, boys and girls, guess what? I read sections three and four twice. Holy shit. At four minutes, naught seconds, B right, number 70, positions B behind F. At four minutes, 18 seconds, A left, hash 310E, turns A onto a heading from which it will intercept the ILS, hence the E on the end of the instruction. Note that the heading is within the allowed range of runway, heading plus or minus 40 degrees. What? I don't even know... This program is designed to simulate the functions of Heathrow Airport air traffic control. The objective is to land eight aircraft or as many as possible within a time limit of 25 minutes as safely as you can. The task is a complex one and has been broken down into a number of exercises to enable you to gradually develop your expertise. Uh, five. B hash right seven altitude seven Roger Roger not yours zero what oh poo left oh god what I I don't the instructions accept our altitude. I guess there's a lot of those are planes flying around and I'm about to kill them all. I think I might I think I might skip Heathrow air traffic control. That's blowing my mind. All those sperms are getting close, says Brendan Kendrick. Shit, damn. It says Die Hard 2, says Mozzie. I think it is. The interface almost makes no sense to me at all. The parallel lines are the runway, I presume. I think they are, yeah. Uh, I don't understand any any of it. I understand none of that. I'm, it, it scares me. That, that game terrifies me. Little cute, little cute, cute, colourful wizards shooting sparkly shit. I could deal with that. That was just... That was like doing an exam at school. <laughs> but with people's lives hanging in the balance. Okay, this is... This can be loaded 128k. This is Anarchy. Tape is backwards. This is Anarchy. Uh, this is part another part of the racket range. The scenario... This is by Michael Centinella. The scenario is, anarchy has broken out on the planet Sentinel-4. Rebels have taken over, and the world is in chaos. You've been chosen for a mission. A mission that, if successful, will bring down the rebels and restore Sentinel-4 to its peaceful ways. Your mission is to break into the security complex where the rebels' weapons and explosives are stored and destroy the entire supply, thus rendering the weapon the we the rebels thus rendering the rebels without weapons making them harmless and open to defeat this was released by Houston consultants in 1987 you're advised this is going to blah 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 option 1 player 2 player game 3 defined keyboard controls Gameplay. In the complex, drive your Ace Mark II intercept unit to destroy 
all the weapons containers, but at the same time, you must avoid the security guard droids as they are deadly to the touch. When all of the containers have been destroyed, the building's security system will collapse and the airlocked exit will open, allowing you to escape deeper into the complex. There is a time limit of about two minutes to complete the mission in each building, otherwise the security system will detect your presence and drain all oxygen from the building, killing intruders. Every fifth building within the complex contains the Rebels' nuclear weapons. These buildings are guarded by a special droid which senses the presence of an intruder following his exact course taken until it catches and destroys the intruder. Good luck on your mission as the whole of Sentinel-4 is counting on you. Okay, so that's... That's the blurb for Alaki. Graphics on the back, they're very blocky. Looks like lots of, I don't know if you can see that, kind of a little bit out of focus, but lots of squares, very blocky. It's Battle Zone on PSVR's is Unholy Muppet. That's right. Whoa, the colours, says Brendan Kendrick. Sorry. So many colours. I'm impressed that there has been no crashes during the entire stream, says Part Time Crazy. There's been kind of one little crash, but it was very quick. It was at the start. Uh, no, these, uh, I guess, I guess the Houston's have kept these games under uh, in good conditions because they're, they're all working fine to me. To be honest, I. Ever since I bought a W.H. Smith computer program data recorder, most of my games have been loading without a hitch. And that's pretty good for tapes that are well over 30 years old, some of these. I mean, this was, what was air traffic control? It was, 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 air traffic control was not given a date. Well, what was it 2018 now? Most of these are over 30 years old. And they still work, which is pretty sweet. Considering... Uh, when they turn off, like, Xbox 360's uh, servers, like they did with the original Xbox that time, all the Xbox 360 arcade games that I ever bought will be uh, no longer playable. Favourite Dizzy game, says Andrew Steen. Fantasy World Dizzy. I have a bunch of tapes in my parents' loft. I wonder if they'll still work, says Pat Van Crazy. They should do. Most of mine were stored in my loft for many years. If you see DJ Puff's Volcanic Capers or uh, Sergeant Seymour Robot Cop up there, uh, part-time crazy, do do let me know on Twitter. I'll buy them off you. Do -do -do -do. They're the last two games I need to complete my Codemasters collection and be able to sleep at night. Good tunes. Okay. What is fire? I'm even I don't know. Not skip frame one. What? Oh god, I thought I could I thought I could do my... Okay. What the fuck? Okay. What's left? That's up and down. What's left and right? That's left. What's right? Why is, why is right not next to it? Oh. What the fuck is up? Oh. 
Oh, okay. Oh, you just have to hold it down for a bit longer. Okay. Okay. How do you fire? Uh. I, I, uh. <laughs> All right. I think I have to destroy stuff, but I can't remember what fire was. Which is. It wasn't P. It's not space. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> That one per here. Three. So when we're on the when we're on the title screen, if I press three, I can define my controls. I did shoot the gun a minute ago. Some bullets come out, and I don't know how they did it. They totally did. Maybe I have to press a direction and fire. Oh, game over, player one. Okay, cool. Three. Here we go. Right, fire. Space. Up. Q. Down. A. Left. O. Right. P. Sweet. One player. Here we go. Boop. Alright, here we go. Now, hopefully. That's it. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with tanks. This is better. Oh. So it's one of those games that scrolls. And flips rather than smooth scrolling. A lot of games scrolled in flips rather than smooth scrolling just because the Spectrum wasn't very good at handling smooth scrolls. Okay. I've nearly destroyed everything except for. Listen, you big bullies. That one? There we go. Oh god, now what? Oh shit. That. I don't know where to go now. <laughs> oh, there. Exit. Fuck. Yeah! I actually did something. I did a game. I did a level of a game. Holy shit. I feel like I've achieved something now this stream. This seems actually pretty cool. You can't shoot when you're like next to something. Which I guess, I don't know, adds a bit of a puzzly element to it. I'm not really sure how... I'm going to be able to blow these bits up, though. There we go. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, it's like... Not only do you have to blow these things up, but you've got to work out what order to blow things up in order to be able to, like, actually shoot them, because... There you go, I can get these ones, and then that allows me to get them. Oh! Well, you can shoot these things, can you? Oh, so that just paused it. Okay, right. So, and then you can kind of like sweep out these. Oh, oh no, I've just let one loose. I've just let one rip. So we can go there, we can go there, we can go there, we can go there. And of course, we get against a, a strict time limit as well. There's... 44 seconds before the deadly homing one comes and gets me. 
So I can pause them by shooting them. So that's quite cool. Clear off, you. Ah. 30 seconds left to kill a tron, these douchebags. This is quite a fun one. I'd have liked this when I was younger. It's 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 rather simple. Not too taxing. A little bit puzzly. Nice and bright and colourful. Ah, oh, you shit. Ah, oh, nuts. I just needed to get to the exit then, and I'd have been fine. Poo. Something like Heath, uh, Heathrow Air Control. I wouldn't have been able to deal with... Well, I can't deal with it now, to be honest. TBH. But especially when I was a wee nipper. That would have been too... In too... Far too intense. I just like the little colourful things. Like, a little puff. Slightly magic and... Fuck you! That's not a game on the spectrum. Fuck you. It's still quite tricky. But all in all, this is... Oh, cock. <laughs> all in all, it's quite, good. it's quite a fun game. Enter identification. Blah, 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 blah. Kark. Karkwet. Hi, I'm Officer Karkwet. One player. Can I skip a screen? Just say how to skip a screen. Push joystick left or right or up or down to change stance. Oh. Come here. Fuck you as a game on the Vega Plus, says Matty H. Oh god, the Vega Plus. That's such a terrible, such a terrible fucking scam, the Vega Plus. I've never seen anything so, like, disrespectful to the Spectrum scene and the backers of a project. It's, even if it does eventually come out, which I 100% don't think will happen. There's no excuse for how the people who've run that campaign have treated their backers. Absolute. It, it's it's beyond words how badly that project has been managed and uh, how much contempt they've shown the people that are given the money. It's it. I've. I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely ridiculous. You quim! <laughs> All right. Uh, what time is it? I've got to see. I've been two hours now. Let's do the last game, which is Quasitron. Steve Turner's high-speed arcade strategy game. Oh, look at this. So this... So I thought these games maybe came from... Uh, the Houston's like personal collection that they've kept in their offices for like ever, but this one seems to have been bought second hand because it's got a label on it which is softly five to seven deer walk central Milton Keynes. It's like a an old computer game shop that was bought in. Oh my god. Quasitron is my favourite, says Andy Herbert. Excellent. Well, I'm probably going to be really shit uh, at it, so apologies, because I've never played it before. I don't think. Here's the cover for Quasitron. It's a very cool... Well, it's kind of keying out a bit, because... Uh, but you can see it's a very cool robot, and it says Quasitron. But in real life, it says Quasitron the right way around. <clears throat> the 
Swearing at games is a good sign. Means you're invested in playing them and doing well, says Matty H. I swear at all games, Matty H. <laughs> you like that game, don't you, says Andrew82. I most certainly do. Do you own the Ed the Duck game, Ian? I don't know. I've done a video about the Ed the Duck game, but I don't own it. Oh, I've got... Forgot to press play. Okay. Quasitron. You control KLP2. Klepto. A wayward mechnotech droid assigned to deactivate hostile alien droids which inhabit the underground city of Quasitron on the planet Quartek. You must destroy the alien droids by laser fire, by pushing them off their programmed routes to destruction, or by ramming them, providing you are stronger than they are. Klepto has a uh, prototype grapple device enabling the alien robots to be stopped and dismantled. The parts recovered from the aliens can be added to Klepto to extend his facilities and endurance. The alien computer system can be tapped to provide maps of various levels and obtain data on, alien, on the alien droids and their constituent parts. If you have a joystick, then plug it into the blah 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 blah. How to play. Quasitron is played diagonally, except when in grapple mode. To move left. God. To move left, A, S, D, F, or G. To move right, H, oh, fuck. Oh, Oh. Subject, the planet Quartek, type, class 1, mineral content, civilization, droid culture of unknown origin, paradroid combat group reported vast subterranean structures before being wiped out, reference massive beam weapon, prevents full-scale attack past it. What the hell is this? Grappling with a droid. Decide on your target droid, center the joystick or take your hands off the keyboard and press fire until the yellow message at the bottom left shows grapple and the G light flashes. Then you can ram the enemy droid, droid to dismantle it. If you wish to turn off grapple mode and switch back to the weapon mode, press fire again. To successfully grapple with the droid, you must engage its security circuit. Oh, this sounds complicated. This was released in 1986, so this is 32 years old, and it works. It's a 32 years old game, on a tape, on one of these, and it works. All of these games still work. Classic. Old school futuristic fonts as that fruit bat. So yeah, I do a lot of these uh, retro games on retro hardware streams. Past ones I've done have been on the Atari Jaguar, the Amiga, Spectrum. I've done a Super Nintendo one. I've done an, have I done an N64 one yet. I can't remember. I should do an N64 one if I haven't done. Um, Amiga I've done. PS1. GameCube. Loads of different games, loads of different retro streams. I've got loads of old school games. Not all of my old school computers can get converted to SCAR and then into HDMI. But the ones that can, I do stream. And I do them, when I can do them, I do them on Wednesdays. Uh, Fridays and Mondays are PUBG. Tuesdays and Thursdays are story game streams. I think I'm going to do uh, a one-off on Thursday, tomorrow. Uh, I think I'm going to do a uh, a stream of Enter the Gungeon tomorrow. So I'm going to do one keyboard and then Enter to start the game. And then I'm going to need to work out these bloody controls because it looks like I'm going to need to go cross-fingered. G and H. Left. To move right and up or left and up. Left and down. B and M. B, M. B. V. Oh, God. oh fuck. Left, right. Left and down. What? Why? 
taken down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Enter to fire. Oh. Oh my god. Controlling this and controlling this on keyboards, a bit of a a, a mish. Grapple. I'm on grapple mode. Mobile grapple mode. How do we, how do we, how do we grapple? Oh my god. So I like the isometric kind of view. Oh, did I grapple this then? What the shit? That goes up and down a bit. I f f what the shit? I don't know what's happening. Oh god, damn it! Uh, I, d I, d I won. I, d I did it somehow. Can I interface with that little shit? Ooh, interface parts of burnout. Oh, crikey. Isometric view takes me back to awkward joystick movements, Matt says Emma a VL gaming. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get my joystick out. Where is it? Keep your mind out of the gutter when I say that. Sit out in there, Desoid. going to let me. No, it's not going to let me. Shit. Oop. I paused it. Okay. Point on pause. There we go. Okay, all right, oh, okay. Okay, I've worked out a good layout for the controls. A, Z, J, and N work very well for the controls. So that's good, good news there. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Ow! You rude bastard. Ow! Oh my god. Hey Laura Muck. Just joining us in is reaching for his joystick. What kind of stream is this? Laura, I told you, keep your mind out the gutter. Prepare to be transported to this wait a minute, where am I now? This is a different world. Oh, 
No, you stop that. Oh, what? You stop that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so confused. One more go. Well, I like that it's giving me lots of different locations. Oh, I've just noticed he's got little eyes pop up. R8X8. Oh, I blew one up. Sucks to be you. Ow. Oh, god damn it. I'm so bad at Quasitron. I think the only game I've actually been semi-decent at has been Anarchy. Arg. Alrighty. That's me done. I think that's been two hours of ZX Spectrum tomfoolery. Apologies that I've been pretty crap at most of them. That's like the first time I've played pretty much every single one of those games. So, uh, yeah, learning as I go, except for I wasn't learning very well. Uh, to be honest, uh, thank you very much to Angie Houston and Houston Games for uh, for sending me these uh, these awesome Spectrum games to play on. I'm sorry I didn't do very well with them, Andrew. It's it's um, I blame blame I blame my keyboard or something. So uh, yeah, thank you so much though for sending them through. It's been it's been great checking out the old school games. I'm going to be once I've logged off this stream, I'm going to jump back into uh, Fire Lord, I think. Give that another go. Try and work out what the hell I'm doing now. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much to everyone else for watching uh, my Retro Games on Retro Hardware stream. There'll be another one in a week's time, next Wednesday, as long as I'm not doing anything. Don't know what platform I'm going to be streaming on yet, though. What was the last? I did I did this. Placed it. I hadn't done an Amiga one for a while. Maybe I'll do an Amiga one, because I've got things like Dracula... Uh, uh, skid marks i've got a few got quite a few amiga games to to try out on a on a uh a retro games on retro hardware stream so i think that's what i'll do next time but yeah thank you very much everybody for watching including nightcap part-time crazy mark smith crosshair huey games who's uh obviously houston games uh andrew steen crosshair backy dog gola 19 dr gonzo laura mac frederick Mueller, rena watt Carl Richardson, AJ Space Hoppercopter, Dario Ruellen, MVL Gaming, Spiders Bite, Septimus Frank, and everyone else who's been joining me. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to do some Enter the Gungeon on the uh, Nintendo Switch. And then Friday, it's some more PUBG. You know how much you love the sausages. <laughs> that sounds weird. Bye. <laughs>